Okay, so I'm going to attempt a walkthrough of question 16 from November 2011, paper 1, and take it slowly, step by step, and hopefully we can all understand this question together. I had trouble the first time I attempted it. The, a cell is connected in series with a 2 ohm resistor and a switch. The voltmeter is connected across the cell and reads 12 volts when the switch is open and 8 volts when the switch is closed. Okay. Um, so what is the internal resistance of the cell? So internal resistance of the cell means that there is a, a little resistor in here, or the cell itself has a certain resistance, and we need to figure out what that happens to be. So let's just simply ignore the fact that there is a hidden resistor in here at the moment and concentrate on the fact that it says when the switch is closed, so when the circuit is complete, you've got 8 volts uh, coming out of this battery and going through this here resistor. Okay, so we've got 8 volts going through the 2 ohm resistor. So if the voltmeter is reading 8 volts here, then we may as well just assume that the battery itself is pumping out 8 volts worth of pressure behind the current that's going through this 2 ohm resistor. So let's apply Ohm's law here, V equals IR, substitute in 8 for the voltage coming out of the battery, and the current we don't yet know what that is until we've completed the problem, but it's I times 2 ohms on the resistor, and so solving that Clearly we've got that the current is equal to 4 amps. Alright, so 4 amps is now flowing through this 2 ohm resistor. Now notice that it says a cell is connected in series. We should remember, again from um, year 11, that in a series circuit, the current through all the components is equal. So the current that is going through this resistor that's actually hidden from us there in series with the battery has a current of also 4 amps going through it. Now the other thing to realize with this problem is that when the switch is open the voltmeter reads 12 volts. When it's closed it reads 8 volts. So there's a missing 4 volts. The Opening of the um, the opening of the switch there means that the battery itself, all on its own, has an EMF, an electromotive force of 12 volts. Now, how do we know that? Well, because if there's nothing else in the circuit apart from a resistor, so in other words, if the circuit just looks like that then the total voltage in the entire circuit is 12 volts. If the total voltage in the entire circuit is 12 volts, and the only place that the voltage is coming from is that cell there, then the cell itself must have an EMF of 12 volts. And that entire 12 volts is going through the transistor. So there's 12 volts in this scenario, when the, cell, uh, when the switch is open. Now, if we close the switch, and then allow the voltage, which is originally 12, to also go through this 2 ohm resistor, then the reading on the voltmeter drops to 8 volts. We know that the 8 volts is going through here. Where's the other 4 going? The other 4 is going through this resistor here. And so if that's the case, if we've got 4 volts going through this resistor, and we also know from the previous calculation that we did that 4 amps is going through the resistor, then if we simply apply Ohm's law for a second time, that there's 4 volts going through that resistor with a current of 4 volts as well, the unknown resistance using this little formula must be 1. And so that's why the answer is A. Hopefully that made a little bit more sense. I certainly confused myself when attempting to do this. Um, just remember that in a series circuit, the currents in a series circuit are all the same. So the current through this unknown resistor and the current through the 2 ohm resistor is the same. But the voltages have to add up to the total voltage. And we know the total voltage is actually 12 volts. And we know that 8 volts was going through this 2 ohm resistor. So 8 plus 
something gives us 12 and 8 plus something that is 4, <laughs> okay, 4 volts. And the 4 amps was given to us by figuring out how much current was going through the 2 ohm resistor given there was 8 volts going through it. So hopefully that's a little bit more clear and um, uh, I, I'm not confusing anyone any further.